people of the world what is popping it's your boy gary rogers we got a really good episode today we got my friend my dear friend and mentor for this whole hosting thing my boy brandon graham who i'm gonna bring on in a few minutes man you know a few minutes the man that's always on the mic not my co-host tonight but really the host of x games he be there i go home he's still there working 10 other shifts hosting 10 other things reading 100 other ads because he's the man for real big applaud Big love, Brandon Graham. Gary. It's poppin', family. How's it going? Hold on, man. I got a 15. Hold up. I want everyone to truly understand uh, the our relationship and how yeah. far back it goes. Yeah. And uh, you remember the first event we ever did together? Oh, 2017, Minnesota. Mini. Yeah. Go like Minnesota. Go like Minnesota. And you... Hey, how about Lil Yachty? Remember, remember Lil Yachty show? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember. All. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Okay, we get, we're going a little inside baseball, but what I, the reason I'm bringing it back though? Uh, U.S. Bank Stadium, 2017. I was always such a huge fan of yours. I can't remember if we maybe met back when I worked for for Rob yeah. at the factory for some event or something like that. But I just I remember being enthralled by Skateline, and then. Uh, when I heard that there might have been an interest, I knew there was X Games interest to get you to come call Street, yeah. but I had no clue that it would be reciprocated. Um, and uh, man, we're so fortunate. I look back all years later. I got be. I'm gonna keep it real with you. Wasn't sure. Wasn't sure if you were gonna get the call back for 2018. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are. Seven years, what, what, seven years later, dog? Seven years later, man. I don't know what I'm doing with that. I'm going to just bring it back to this, but I had to see if that button worked. But, yeah, <laughs> seven years later, I didn't think I was going to get the call back either. I'm not going to lie, but I'm not – I wasn't tripping. I wasn't I wasn't hurt, but it was definitely just an honor to be able to do the first one. And, you know, every year talking to you and learning how to get better at it and kind of calming down and, like, realizing that yeah i can have a moment a good moment but there's a there's like a better punch to it instead of like an overdoing mm. you know because like i oh, i, I and, and sorry just for i'm not when i said i wasn't sure if you were gonna get the call back it wasn't because of performance i just thought you were so good and you said from the jump like i'm not gonna make any apologies i'm gonna be me yeah that's and that I was refreshing <laughs> that's what because, but 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 here's what's funny is you think now with like talking heads on TV um, that everybody's Stephen A. Smith or Shannon Sharp, right? Like yeah. everybody's just like, oh, I don't care. I'm going to be polarizing. But back then it wasn't, especially like doing like play by play for any sort of sport and certainly skateboarding. Like that was just sort of unprecedented. Yeah. And, and I just, I loved it. It was refreshing. And I wasn't sure if we were going to get buyback from like ESPN at Disney at the time, like, Oh, is this, you know, are we, are we pushing the line too much? And, uh, it was like, <laughs> that, thank God. Um, thank God. They, they were like, let's let this cook and see where it goes. And here we are, man. Dude, have an unapologetic, unapologetic motion early is, uh, that was crazy. I just kind of just went out there and remember how much I was like, it's not a sport on, on air and being all argumentative and oh, just, yeah. I still feel the same. I couldn't, Your boy still feels I the couldn't same. Mention, but. I couldn't mention the swoosh. I couldn't mention other skateboarding leagues. Um, but I didn't realize it's like we all love Tony Hawk yeah. and what he means to skateboarding, oh, right? 100%. Go, 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 go. 100%. Uh, but I didn't realize what he and the nine, like what it meant to you personally yes. and how that impacted your trajectory in the skateboarding. Yeah, no, 100%. So, like, uh, just to touch into that real quick, he's just referring to the fact that, like, Tony Hawk did the 900 in San Francisco. He, like, did that, landed it, all of a sudden got this video game that I played, fell in love with skateboarding, and then all of a sudden, just years later, I'm <laughs> on Ride Channel, getting to know him. He's airing over me at on vert ramps at Woolward, and then years later, <laughs> X Games. It's just, like, such a full circle genuine moment that i got to have with him just doing the 900 period you know just like shout out to tony hawk all the way mega goat uh he literally and who would have thought who would have thought 17 years later you'd be on that same network calling people 
uh, Skeeter from Doug <laughs> in the middle of a skate contest. But, but yeah, here's look. This is uh, look at your boys, I think, man. I is think that this that? is 2018. This might be 2018. Oh, it's a year later. Yeah, yeah, it's a year yeah, later. yeah. You were all yeah, yeah. It looks like you. Um, it looks like you. You went. To, you I, went designer the I, following I, year. I, like, I have got. I had. That's all Vulcan, by the way. This is not designer. I ain't wearing. Oh, wow. I got a TLC shirt on. That's the most designer I had on. But you know what I'm saying? This hey, was, was that the year? Was that the year they gave us the Stuart Scott? Um, yes. No. X game shirt. Yeah. 2018. 2018 was. I have requested that. Dang, I wish we had that. Well, look at us again, man. This is. Look at the boys, man. This is 2020. This is our. This is look our yearbook. This is our year street. Our real street. Uh, not real street. This is uh 2020 during COVID. <laughs> We went and did at the little place at California Skate Parks. I think that's this broadcast. Yeah. Or which one is this? Where where were we? No, this one's at the this one's at the this is at the Brooklyn Rail. Oh, this is Real Street. Remember that? This is yeah. Real Street. Okay, there we go. That's why my brain went to Real Street. That was exactly that fit. You right? There you go. See, look. Sometimes I need Brando. Shout out a hey, R.I.P. Hey, but how, si- how sick? Was- oh, R.I.P. Man. Yeah. Uh, man, Bernie Mac, Stuart Scott. I swear to God. <laughs> I don't think we're going to talk about dudes who have passed. That's it. I think we're at our limit. Um, <laughs> but, but, hey, but how sick was, like, real street coming to life? And then we obviously did it this last summer, uh, which was amazing. But just seeing real street, uh, you know, as a video contest, it's it's unmatched. But then yeah. to actually take it to the streets and go to these iconic spots. Yeah, man. man. And it's, just, it's like, incredible. kind of feature a best trick. Not for real, Brando. Like, I was just about to ask you how you felt about those because, honestly – like seeing that and like how those turned out and the incredible moments, like legendary tricks went down at these spots and we got to create yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? Like the the I know it's like the the nod to Buster Bale and then flipping into our own mixing between Real Street and Real Street Best Trick is like a really yeah. good idea in the mind of Sinclair because like heroes were made. Like our Cordova kind of name went For up real. and Alec Majerus mm-hmm. felt like he got a little bit more respect when his part came out because like people remember those things and those clips are kind of going viral through each social but how do how do you feel about things like that coming to real life i think it's so important i think just for like the dna of a spe- specifically street skateboarding right like yeah no matter what the soul of of what we do is like embedded in the streets yeah and nice. it's like we can create the the most state-of-the-art plaza courses in arenas and outside and, and want, it's, yeah. it's remarkable it's remarkable right and you get to see the world's best uh go hammer time but it's like when we go to a place like we did last summer where you have seen literally 50 video parts and, uh, and, yeah. and now <laughs> and, as an ender and then a lot of those guys that have been in those video parts i think a jocelyn right away right like some of the most iconic moments and we're just doing it. And yeah, we're giving away a medal, which is sick. Yeah. But it's just like it's it's a it's um it's the ultimate session. Like I, right. I just I don't know how else to put it. Like it's no, um it and you and you get to see guys like you said, Art Cardova, like how like are you gonna see him in an X Games like real summer event? Yeah, like, probably not. Probably not. But then you get him out here. No. Exactly. And then you get you create a platform for him and his sponsors like it and you know, he's on television and or live on YouTube. It's just like it's it's beast. It's it it helps these. And guys. remember Art his his didn't his brother pass away like yeah, right bro, before yeah, like, that event? Yeah, like a week or two before that, I believe. And yeah. Man. I thought you said we met our sad limit, bro. This is like we gotta look, hey, grinding on wine episode fifteen, Brandon Graham, Gary Rogers, shout out Art Cordova and his Ooh. entire family. But to keep the motion going, man, we still got some <laughs> photos. This is, I believe, 2017. The reason why I know that, I have no jewelry. My hair is not done. (laughs) I am. No grill. No grill. No grill. No nothing. I have just, this is my brand shirt. This is me and my brothers. We made this brand, Thrash Boys for Life. That is my TB4 shirt. It was a national tell. I respect that. But the dreadlocks are not lined up or nothing. I look crazy. And I was still embraced by a stadium full of people. (laughs) <laughs> shout out to your this, dreads man. your dreads were uh they were like brandon Ayuk level at that point i don't think they were 
<laughs> I don't think they were what we see before us today. Ayuk, man. How about them 49ers, Brando? How about Ayuk? Bang Bang Niner game, baby. Come on now. Big one. Tell them. Tell them. I know, I know, I know. Detroit is Detroit's playing the ass off, man. But this hey, is look. Yeah, I'm curious in the in the chat, uh, if anyone watches football, um, tell me you got the Niners this weekend. Yeah, who you got? This is actually okay, the, got them lying. This is this is the Hey, this is the third straight year, by the way, that the Niners. Oh, t- no. <laughs> the um, Niners, the Ravens, and the Chiefs have been in this game, correct? But j- check this out. Uh, this is the third straight year that I'm going to be on air in Aspen during a 49er playoff game. Uh, last year it happened when we were playing a game against the Eagles in the oh, NFC Championship my. game. I don't know if you remember that. Uh, yeah. But I, uh, I don't want my bosses to hear this, but I had an iPad open during the broadcast on Hulu yeah, watching the Niners-Eagles game, like during commercial breaks, of course. And then uh, <laughs> Purdy's elbow got ripped off, and I was like, I don't even want to do the rest of the show. I still I, – I couldn't – I couldn't even – bro, I was – Beating depression when they flipped that kid's elbow back. I couldn't believe it. We, we got down to McCaffrey being our quarterback. Life was insane. <laughs> and then I think about insane moments and me taking this photo. What you don't see is is if you actually are panned over probably another 45 degrees, oh, Lil Wayne is standing yeah. right there in this Dang. in this moment while my eyes are closed and you are fresh in the glasses looking like you just came back successfully from a 007 mission. And you know what I'm saying? I'm iced out, but I'm no, not. No, that's a photo of somebody who just uh, – that looks like the photo of somebody who just um, sold off uh, a record timeshare – amount of timeshares <laughs> to hit his quarterly bonus. Um, yeah. Hey, can we talk about that for a second? Wayne, Wayne came to Ventura for X Games California last yeah, summer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he had a he had a wonderful group of friends with him, and uh, yeah. By the way, Neil, yeah, can we talk about that? Look at Bandoni. I see him, bro. I see him looking like a mob over boss. Gary's right shoulder. For those who don't know, uh, Neil, the real deal, Bandoni, who's one of the best, literally the been nicest ever. humans ever. Look crazy as I love shit that right there, bro. He looks like he's thugged out for real. In this one, but remember Weezy? Re- Weezy was eating like these like gummy nerds and. Uh, he kept. We have a we have a screen, so we're standing right in front of the plaza. We're, so we're watching the s- street final. Yeah, but uh, we've got a screen, so we could watch replays. So Wayne kept like poking his head right next to Gary to like watch the yeah like, the replays. Kept, and Gary I kept would, adjusting. Like I'll be like, because he'd be like, he'd be like, let me see that, let me hey, when that bet from it, and I'll be like, I got you, I got you, mind you, mind you. I'm thinking me and him is beefing, forgetting that Alex Miller. Yeah, I was gonna. Midler had Can we talk about that yes, for a second? Bro. So Do Wayne, people know that? Do no, people know no, no, that no. Gary and Wayne? Okay. So what happened tell, was... Back, back, tell remember, the story. So I must tell you, bro. Wayne went pro, right? And then he like got in a podcast of like <laughs> him, Theotis Beasley, yes. Yo-Yo, Deshaun Jordan. It was like all the African-American skateboarders. He wanted to make sure that they all... And Tori Pudwell. They all like had like a discussion about like Wayne being pro. And Wayne goes... I want to donate. I want to put this in the face of Gary Rogers. I'm pro. You know what I'm saying? He said a lot of other words we shouldn't say right now. You know what I'm saying? He's like, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yo, shout out to that. Because first off, favorite rapper ever. That Everybody knows that. Like, it's not no joke to it, right? So I'm like, okay. But then he says later in the thing, like, yo, Alex Miller told him that I don't actually hate him. And then I was telling, like, uh, Spanish and all them, Spanish Mike and all that. I'm like, bro, if you've ever listened to what I've said about, like, about Wayne, I never have hated on him. Like I've said things about him not kick flipping or him not having a bunch of ability, which is like a known thing. But I, I like played him every I went back every skate line I mentioned Wayne. And then even Spanish watched it and he was like, bro, like, okay, like you feel me? Cause I'm not sitting here like I'm about to apologize to Wayne. Like, bro, I, if I say something, I gotta stand on it. Like it is what it is. So I'm thinking we not really cool. Wayne looked at me, bat me up, 
said love. You mm-hmm. feel me? Every day that he yeah. left, he made sure he spoke to me. I was like, hey, oh, bro, like it's good. Cause when I when he first stood there, I was standing up. He had a security. You know, hey, if y'all know about Lil Wayne, he known the uh, you heard me. <laughs> so uh <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Hey, Wayne has had some security guards do some things, Ooh. bro. So I was like, oh yeah, this is my day where uh he gonna send them boys on me. But yeah, hold on, I gotta uh I wanna show another one. Look at us here. Now this, I believe, is was oh, this that's hard. Is this COVID? Is this the the twenty twenty? Yeah, that that was COVID. That was COVID, and it's crazy that we don't have uh, masks on. Yeah, we, do you remember? I think we're holding our mask in like, our hand. I think we took them off. They, we, broke, want, we broke that rule. They want. They wanted us to wear the masks during, like the broadcast. Yeah, like not like like not just when we were on camera. Like straight up on while we're calling the event. <laughs> Bro, insane. Dang, my I had the three twists. We look, we look like we was going first round in the in the NFL draft right here. Both of us, you was about to be the QB. Man. I was gonna be a, a defensive back, but that look, <laughs> <laughs> that's what it looks like. Hey, that looked like Lethal Weapon Five to me. <laughs> <laughs> what is the fit oh, going shit. on here, brother? This, I just gotta hey, ask you about this. This What's vest, this vest, man. Nah, that sorry. was made for. That's from uh, Austin. X Games Austin. See, I wish because like I got the full photo on my computer, but my head is in the way. I want them to see your ankle. There's just this space of ankle from the pants being so tight. That's got me like cracking up. You feel me? Looking like your whole foot couldn't <laughs> breathe. But hey, look, you still you still got it on though. We not gonna just all the way say you don't got it on, but. That ankle looks hilarious. The jeans, too. the jeans, the jeans are normal size jeans. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you know, I'm a, uh, I'm a cat. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I'm like eighty. You were talking about seventy percent water. I'm like seventy percent calf. You feel me? That's a fact. That is a fact. Shout out, I'm Brando, all calf, man. man. Look, oh, 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 oh. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now, I want to ask you about this. So. You've seen all. You've been in this what industry. You, what, do for wanna, long, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want to ask me? About? You've been in this indus- industry for a long time. Like you've seen a lot of skateboarding. You know the things that I said about Wayne. Like I, I, I know why he skateboards. You know, obviously it's like to save his life. But it's like, do I feel? Do you feel like the people around him didn't let him get super good at skateboarding? Do you ever feel like that happened? Like they gave him so much love and was like, oh, he's, you know, because he's around the best skateboarders in the world. Do you right. feel like they kind of like didn't let him, obviously skating older is going to be harder, but I just feel like there was like this hold back on him actually being able to perform really well because it was like, oh, you killing it, you killing it. You know what I'm saying? I just, I guess I'd, I'd throw it back to you because I just didn't realize like, like when he started skating or at least when it got on my radar, I was like, Oh, that's sick. Yeah. And then I was like truck fit and all that. And I was like, Oh, okay. Like he's like, he's got a brand. Okay. But it was like, I just didn't know how much he wanted to like, how far he wanted to take it. Yeah. And then it's like, Oh yeah. You know, can, can he go pro? Can he get his own board? And it's like, I'm thinking like as an honorary thing or like he really, yeah. Like it truly <laughs> is like going for this. And then to your point, it's like, <laughs> What, what, like, is everybody like, Wayne, go for it, man. <laughs> like, yeah, skate as much as you want. Let's see, let's see where you could take this. Or it's just like, you've got the keys to any TF you ever want to go to. And, um, and that's that. But I, <laughs> skate but at 4 a.m. But yeah, but I think like anybody of his magnitude, like, that shines a light on skateboarding, like, it's all good. Like, I, no matter that's, what, like, that's people what I think him, too. I just, I, it's like it it he 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 makes sure that the language is love for skateboarding. That's what my favorite yeah. part about Wayne yeah. is. Yeah. Like when he speaks yeah. of it, he speaks of it highly. He doesn't ignore the question. He actually wants to sit there and under like when I was watching that uh the podcast with Hawk versus Wolf, when he's like asking mm-hmm. Tony how long did it take him to uh kickflip, you know what I'm saying? Um it's like when he's asking those type of questions and he's listening to that answer, that is 
Well, <laughs> you read the cap sheet. <laughs> I read. I finally read the caps. You can tell that. You can tell that Wayne loves skateboarding. It's like that. That's like my. Yeah. That's like my point. It's like you can tell that he actually has like a genuine love for it, and I think that that is what helps it. You know, like <laughs> you guys. <laughs> it's crazy though, because I don't. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they see it now. But that's what I don't. That's the part of like the hate of skateboarding that just like you just got to cut through. Yeah. Is there are so many people? I mean, I'm sure you probably experienced it, like when you started Skateline, yeah, right? Like where it was like, oh, what, oh, oh, he's talking shit about everybody, and you know, is he better than any of these guys? Oh, did he go pro? And I it's like I didn't get that. why can't I never got that, Brando? I never got that oh, in the crazy. beginning. What I got was like kind of little pockets of clicks, wondering if I didn't like them because I was from Northern California. They didn't really mm. know. That was it. It was like certain clicks, but people weren't ever judging if I was better. People wondered if I did skate, but it was never like, why is he talking? Who isn't telling to back it up? And then it got yeah. to that after I started getting more verified and hanging out with the Hawks and then blah, blah, blah. The more I went up was like, whoa, hey, do you really do this thing? And then having tricks come out and clips come out and people being like, okay. So, but I, you know, that hate for skateboarding, it comes from the people that want to protect it because of the ups and downs yeah. it has. That's what happens when you see like a Rihanna or, or, or when you see a Justin Bieber wear a Thrasher hoodie, but you don't know he skated as a kid and can blunt to fakie. Of course, Felper's like, nah, get that out of here. I don't want that audience of people wearing our stuff because we want to keep it pure because we don't want it to be your fad that can die off. That's what. You know what I'm saying? But not knowing that Justin Bieber actually loves skateboarding, he just doesn't do it anymore like that full time. You know well what I'm saying? Said. And but you then, know what it is? But then Rihanna, it's the opposite. Go ahead. It's the opposite of like how the NFL is handling the Taylor Swift situation. Exactly. You know what I mean? They're like, Taylor, we got yeah. you a skybox. We got you a ukulele and a guitar. We're going to give you one of the mini skirts in the theater. You're going to put your movie concert in there. Travis Kelsey, bro, Travis Kelsey probably don't even know her. They probably really don't date. I think that. I don't think he really even hit that. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, God. Oh, God. Maybe you maybe think about it, but I sorry, so, sorry, we're we're getting off the tracks. But but what I'm saying is like I hear you, and yeah. it's like it's like the, the the core of skateboarding is protected at all costs, right? 100%. So it's like anybody because I I mean I even experienced that too when I first got started. It was like, why is he doing the skate contest? He was never pro. And it's like, uh, like is that the is that be? the is that the but is that yeah exactly is that the license to be able to like commentate on a skate contest it's like oh i don't remember you ever competing in a contest i don't remember ever seeing you in thrasher and i was like well shit well then i guess i can't win um but it's like such a different standard like no one questions like oh mike Chirico, did he play in the nfl jim nance yeah joe buck and it's like well i'm kind of playing that role even though i grew up doing all this and it's like i'm also doing all of the snowboard contests I'm throwing ski contests around. I'm yeah. calling BMS. You know, it's like you kind of become a jack of all trades, right? And like a utility guy. But ultimately, as long as your heart's in the right place and it's like, I love this stuff and it's where I've come from, then you're like at peace with it. But then so, I think about somebody like Wayne or Bieber, to your point. Yeah. It's like, shoot, man. Like they're already got a target on their back. And if they are wearing something right. like nothing pervades – fashion and like what is i don't know for lack of a better term like cool yeah than skateboarding for, from the beginning of time truly yeah. um nice. and like i just think like i don't know they see it as like culture vulturing really i think so n now i just like i'm gonna kind of turn off to this i just want to ask you a question bro how did you get into all this like when you actually like got into x games and stuff like where was that entry point was it like like with your life, like honestly, like how did you become who you are? I've always thought about that. Mm. 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 Thank you for bringing me on the show, man. I really wanted to <laughs> open up about this tonight, Tuesday night. Okay. Uh -huh. just, like, just a quick question: Did you know somebody? Did you? Know uh, hey, well, <laughs> who you know? How'd you do this? Uh, well, you know, first of all, we're both Bay Area boys. We're mm -hmm. both Bay boys. Um, I think that's why we connected so quickly. Hundred percent. Um, yeah, man. I like doing all of this, growing up doing it, and then being able to intern at ESPN in college, mm -hmm. 
And I didn't want to do anything else, but I just knew ESPN owned the X Games, right? And I was yeah. like, that's all I want to do. Yeah. Because I was like, all there was was Salema. And I was like, this is who I idolize. Because I was like, all I wanted to do was skate and snowboard and surf. Yeah. And, and he like did all those things. And uh, I was like, how, how do I get there? And that opened some doors for me. And I got to meet Salema when I was in college. And... And he stayed in touch with me, which was sick. And then I met uh, Bobby Light. That was Bob it. Bob Deerdeck. That was and, it. Uh, and, well, hey. Yeah, and, man. And the question has been answered. And, yo, today, Brando, thank you for coming on to the show. Um, we're going to watch the best of real ski. Um, I, have, I haven't peeped this yet. I really, I really want to. Are you familiar with anybody from the ski world? Like, is that something you – I know you call those, but, like – yeah no fair question um i've gotten to know a number of skiers over the years just from being part of this community mm -hmm. i don't ski i snowboard mm -hmm. uh tra full transparency yeah uh but like you but like you uh i'm like mesmerized when you watch it mm -hmm. yeah you know, just like i don't i don't understand mm -hmm. uh how they can do what they do in the air yeah. and um like the rotations are just they're um they're goofy, man. It's, it's like, it's silly. Like it just, it doesn't, it doesn't compute. And it's so beautiful to watch. I just like, I could watch a ski like pipe event and really know very little of what they're doing, but like marvel at what they're doing. Type. You know what I mean? Type. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to start one of these. Hit let's, it. let's get it. Hit it. Roll it. We filmed this maybe three months ago. Oh, okay. This is super difficult to come up with 90 seconds and two months skiing. This is nuts, bro. Unless you're filming for real ski. What's happening, everybody? And welcome to our best of real ski 2023. Wow. I am, of course, Brandon Graham. So did you, have you talked about, hey, Tom, look at the boy. Look at that. Thanks so much for look at the shoulders on this guy. I was talking about what? Look at the shoulders on this guy. I was asking, have you, uh. Have you talked about, because this is the best of real ski, right? So this is yeah. Tom Wallace and I, one of the best pro skiers of all time, mm -hmm. the voice of skiing for X Games. Okay. Uh, looking back, looking back at like the best videos, video parts from, from real ski, I was going to say, have you talked at all on this show about um, our real street show that we did? No, no, not yet. I mean, we just, it's like, hasn't been the time, but we do probably need to re do a review on that. That would be like a real good one because Real Street was beast, bro. Jeez. I feel like, uh, sorry, I know we're watching, I know we're watching Real Ski right now, but uh, I don't know if you notice this, but I get hit up all the time. Like, I feel like Real Street gets aired constant that best of real At street every show buffalo wild wings in the world every day bro i got people that i'm not <laughs> trying to talk to like yo bro so you doing good i was at buffalo wild wings eating the super hot and you came up on the tv son oh yeah for sure gangsta good to talk to you i like yo i didn't know they were still playing this i thought it went live and that was it no that was gnarly, oh man, man. well uh, yo i get I get texts all the time. It was like, hey, I see you on TV. I was like, oh, we filmed that last April. <laughs> um, hey, I just saw this, that Elliot uh, was the one who put Stony Hawk 69 on the broadcast during Ventura. That's who Were you on that? that show when they had that comment? Yes. That commenter? Of course. I'm so immature. You know I was cracking up at that. Are you crazy? Have you lost your mind? Hold on. I need to pull chat over here. I got to be able to look at chat. But yeah, bro, what? Are you insane? Yes, I saw Stony Hawk 69. Of course I did. I tried, I, I, no, I just couldn't remember if it was a street comp or, Yeah, yeah, it was definitely doing street. Yeah, of course, bro. They wanted me to see it. They needed me to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that handsome lad on the right? Was, who has a coat? Somebody got a coat. <laughs> but yeah, dude, I... <laughs> no, honestly, I don't... Like, when I think about skiing... Like, obviously, like, there's that level of detachment because of, like, you know, not doing it and stuff. But I can't knock it. I cannot. It's something that I know I wouldn't do. But I just watching these kids jump off full-on mountains. You feel me? 
has put me in like this. And then, oh, I was also running that. The sticks, right? Most mm, of the street the dudes, yeah, the poles, most of the dudes don't use those. Yeah, that, it's dude, a, that dude, the street. It's a, yeah, it's a real, um, it's like a point of contention. There's like, there are, there's a part of the ski community that believes like anything you do with skiing, whether it's free skiing, urban skiing, hitting the rails, it's like, you got to have the poles, man. That's like, that's just, that's part, that's part of the, uh, of the tool bag. Yeah, and uh, and then there are some that are just like, no, they get in the way. There's really no point to them for what we're trying to but do. But don't those help you with speed? Don't those like dig you through to go faster? Isn't that what those are for? I think so. I, I think it's more of like a new school uh, portion of like the ski community that is foregoing uh, the sticks. Yeah, because really. that's like the traditional. I remember seeing those. Like that's like the traditional. Like I don't know what it's really for. I never even thought about that. Like. You feel me? It's a kit thing now. Okay, I don't know. It just goes with the fit. Like people, you gotta match the pole with the shoes type. <laughs> I mean, I I think about it too because I mean, I snowboard. I know you snowboard too. It's yeah. like it doesn't really make sense for the orientation of how we you know skate or snowboard. But man, oh I can see how God. advantageous it would be for just being able to keep balance and you know slow down when you got to somebody in chat point somebody in chat just asked such a good question brando <laughs> do skiers get the boot at spots or the karen's cool <laughs> with it because it's too cold outside to call the police you know i think uh i think skiers and snowboarders in the streets get a little bit of um i think they get i think they get treated a little differently just a little bit, huh? Great question. Hey, just a little I bit. Mean, <laughs> if you ever look at any of the snowboard videos, like let's just we can go back to the video we were watching. We can go back to Real Street. There's not very many people outside. You feel me? Most times, yes. like when you're skating and you're trying to get your clip, you feel me, bro? <laughs> like I might be showing I might be showing my ignorance on this, but I don't I can't recall watching a ski video where like a security guard comes out yeah bro they, they, they can't be there like nobody first off no you don't want to deal with that the dude's hopping off the roof of the building into a little snow pile on some skis or snowboard he's already lost his mind it, you might as well just wrap it up like it, it is what it ain't well you you shouldn't you wouldn't even be walking down a stair set you know what i mean like yeah. it's covered in ice yeah <laughs> but i mean again i think just same same thing hitting the streets with skateboarding it's just the the commitment level of you and your videographer to go out to these spots especially when you're freezing ass cold yeah got to bring out generators like it's a it's just it's a different beast and that's why you know and i think for skiing it's for truly the love of it you know video parts for free skiing is much like skateboarding it's the lifeblood of it but yeah you know, it's it's a different type of audience. I've never until I like interviewed Burke and um, Nick from last week. I never. Oh yeah, you had Gepper. Did you have Gepper? Yeah, on? I had Gepper on, man. Gepper is. Yeah, Gepper, he's he's so cool. He's hilarious, bro. He also looks like yeah. kind of like everybody's BSing, and he can see through everybody. And then I think he uh, finally was like, okay, this guy isn't BSing and gave me a chance. <laughs> I think he just, he's looked at life I in think like he's, a uh, different way. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I, I think he's got really fresh perspective. Like uh, he was somebody who, who uh, I think he was an Olympian, but he was all about slope style. And then this winter he was just like, I'm going to commit to skiing the pipe, yeah. which he had never done before. And it's kind of unprecedented, I think, for competitive skiers to just be like, I don't know. Like it's like, the it's like being a – well, it's like just being a street skater and be like, oh, yeah, I think I'm going to like skate try vert. and skate vert exclusively now. And, and you're not uh, Utah? And he did. And he, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he qualified for X Games, man. It's 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 sick. That's sick. I, did you have a relationship with Gepper? Uh, have, have you ever? You know, I'd only I'd only met him a couple of times, but I remember he came up to me after a, a press conference in Aspen. I was emceeing the presser and he was one of the athletes and he was like, um, Hey man, uh, I'm not saying I want to get into it now, but like walk me through the process of like getting into broadcasting. Yeah. Like, I think he would wanted to do kind of like what Tom Wallace does for us, like yeah. be, a, or you just be a ski analyst. And I think that's crazy. I don't know if you ever get, have these conversations. You and I have never really talked about this. Like mm -mm. you're homies with, with everyone that we do contests, yeah. <laughs> you know, that we're calling for, but like, has anybody approached you? 
and been like, Hey man, like I, I want to like get into the game, you know? And like, does it, is anybody ever looking for, you know, a skate analyst or anything like that? Like, has anybody approached you? Nobody's ever approached me saying that they want to get into it. Um, probably cause I'm just too good at it and they never will have a shot until I get old and die. But no, nah, honestly, the only time that I actually was asked for like, not even like advice, but like kind of was like told something is this kid, Shay Sandiford, who's actually the little brother of Ron Artest. He did another contest and he like was texting me like, yo, I'm going to go live at this. And I'm like telling him like, bro, it's just a conversation. You know, I give like advice like Gabby Maiden came on. She's going to do it. I was just kind of like coaching. Mm -hmm. But nobody ever has been like an actual skateboarder like, yo, bro, like, how you get that? Like, you feel me? How you in that line of work? Like, what you got going on? Like, how do I get there? Because, you know, a lot of people afters are focused on other things. Like, if they're going to become a photographer or something else, it's like, bro, this is a good gig, man. Like, Jeff Rowley seen it. Chris Cole seen it. It's like a good thing mm -hmm. to actually have knowledge about the thing you like because that's the thing that a lot of people don't understand, too, is, like, the knowledge of skateboarding that I was blessed with, of being around everybody, the likes of Felper, the likes of you, the likes of ta having conversations with Deer Dick and talking about television and talking about talking with Tony about these things. Like, you know, like, I've had all this guidance of everybody in the industry and just being an actual, like, lover of the thing. Like, you know, you don't a lot of kids don't really have that. They're not watching everything. They're kind of in the just their side of skateboarding and their side. So I feel like when they get to the the analyst or those dudes that are those mega pros, they're not even really watching these type of things. So I, that's yeah, probably, yeah, that's probably, that's probably why. That's good. Have. That's amazing perspective because I think sometimes people go like, "Oh, sick, Chris Cole is calling this event," or "Oh, sick, Sean Malto is on the call." Yeah. Um, but you don't re you don't realize, man. It's not just. And you see it in other sports too, right? Like, yeah. like there's been a lot of guys who have like crashed and burned, but just because they're a big name, it's like it doesn't. It, it's not just seeing a trick and calling it. It's like being interesting yeah, and being entertaining. Bro. Yeah, and that's why I say I'm the I'm the luckiest I'm the luckiest guy in our industry because I get to call skateboarding events with you, mm -hmm. and I get to call snowboarding events with Craig McMorris. And I think the two of you wow. guys, thank you, bro, are truly the the very hey, hold on bro hold on as far Brando, as analysts Brando, i love you to death hold on bro hold on what the wait hold up who is this i was playing this hold on did you see that rail no nah, i was i gotta be honest with you i was looking at myself okay you have to sometimes when you got hair like that i respect it listen do you see this rail are you looking? <laughs> oh, oh yeah <laughs> yeah oh Hey. Oh. My boy. <laughs> Hold on now. Show this again. What do we got going on? How many? Chat, I want to count this. Chat. Chat. I want to count the steps. I... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. One second, Brando. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. You can go get a coffee if somebody wants to. 25, 26, 27, 28. You can do your taxes if you need. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. I'm not done yet. 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. It's about a 60 stare. I'm done counting. It got annoying. This boy did a 60 stare. What are you reading? Oh, interiors magazine. <laughs> oh. Hey, look, I was about to laugh, but I was like, oh, yeah, hold on now. I'm not gonna get in that. That's a hey, play it talk right there. That's that. Stuff. We all got. We all got. We all got. We all got side hustles. We all got other Don't injury we? or me, dog. Listen, that was absolutely nuts, bro. That was Strassman, dude. That that. I mean, that was the year. What was that year? This is. I think that was 2018. That no, that video part. Uh, oh, okay. There was a heavy. There was a heavy year. It was like. It was Jake. It was LJ Strenio and it was um, Phil Casaban, who we talk about a lot. Uh, actually, there's LJ Strenio right there, uh, sitting between Tom and I. Um, oh my God. Backflip. Phil Casaban is like the MVP of Real Ski. Yeah. He's, um, he's, how would I describe him? He's the Jocelyn of Real Ski. I mean, okay, like, okay. So he'd be winning. Like he he's the guy that wins. Okay. 
You would never see him. But unlike Jocelyn, though, you would never see Casabon in like a ski whoa, whoa. comp at X Games. Whoa, that was a nice little number. Hold on, I got oh, some. Here you go. No, I got some production no, stuff here's happening. No pulse. So I gotta, what is this? Here's no pulse. How about the kit, too? Oh, was that a fake Emmanuel? Who is that? <laughs> That's like the real from Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> Wait, hey, what? Can so, we... so LJ's the guy, basically, is what you're saying. Like, that's... Uh, Phil, yeah, Phil and LJ, but uh, can we just, like, give a hand to the set designer on this show? What you mean, brother? <laughs> what you mean? Look at, like, no, I mean, sorry, th- not not your show, not this show, like this show we're watching right now. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, what y'all got going, I was about to say, I'm looking in the back of my room, like, I'm just in the room. You mean for y'all stuff? Yeah. No. What is in yeah, front yeah, of Yeah, like, we just, we, like, it's, like, there's no coffee table, it's just a winch, and, like, no <laughs> one's really saying anything. It's just like, oh, okay. Yeah, like, what, bro, with medals on it the and sh- all types of, like, that the, just. Look above, look above Wallace, the there's a, like there's a, there's vests. Like construction vest. <laughs> I mean, did all that mean something? Is that because like you're kind of like they spared, they spared, they spared no expense. Yeah, I mean this, this is all that's all part of the um, that's all part of the get up for for going and filming parts, man. It's a little bit of everything. Gotta have your your vest on. I, I, top ten best tricks. Here we go. Yo. Yeah, I think Hackle is one of the most technical. What? Terry <laughs> said he's going to go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy D, man. He's an idiot. Uh, he, he makes all the beat. He makes all the beats for the thing we do at, called a million bars at the end. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh. Yo, hold on, dog. Come on. Ocho, come on. Yo, dog. Take me back. Take me back to JF. What do you, how do you be feeling when you're watching these, Brando? What's that feeling though? You know, it's like I don't because I know that's so it's hard I know that's for me that, to like that watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. That disconnect, brother. Yeah, absolute legend. Here's another guy too, like JF that you just don't see in traditional skate contests mm-hmm. or ski contests. Excuse me. Uh, again, it's like if you're watching this right now and you maybe say you skate and you're just like, oh man, these guys are all crazy at X Games. It's like a lot of these guys, just like a real street contest, you just don't. Magnus, this guy's like, he's an artist, dude. Like, he's, he skis differently than anybody else. Like, there's just, there's no rhyme or reason to it. It's beautiful. Um, no, but what I was going to say is, like, so many of these cats you just don't see in a traditional ski contest. Yeah. This dude's won twice. Will Wesson. That's a good name. Will Wesson is fine. Will Wesson. Well, it's yeah, like you were writing a screen a good, screenplay. It was bro, like sounds like a secret r- secret agent secret agent Will Wesson. A super no, bro. Right, that sounds like a Will Wesson a Will Wesson film sounds like a really good uh, director. I'm happy like that spiel like that Steven Spielberg type of thing. One of the biggest this summer, I think you're thinking Will. of Wes Anderson. It's too close to Wes Anderson. Anderson. Will oh, Wesson. Oh yeah. yeah. Congrats on oh, the Wallace time. boy. Yo. Like I, sometimes I want. It, it's crazy, man. How um, there's Casabon right there with the dreads. Uh, yeah, European uh, dreads are the best. Tom Wallace. Tom Wallace for a second. Oh wait, you gotta watch this. this is the Joe Sackick jersey. Check this out. This is stupid. That was really high concept. Bro, what? Uh, but Tom Wallace, like, I don't think he gets his flowers enough. Like he is like an undisputed. Like, he's on the Rushmore, I think. And, like, he's just part of, like, the broadcast family. It's it's crazy. It's, like, I, I mean, to me, it's it's kind of like having Tony back in, like, the mix. Like, do you ever think – I know you have a great relationship with, with uh, Birdman, but, like, don't you sometimes, like, when we're, like, in Ventura and we're just, like, in our – in the offices getting ready to, like, yeah. go into the booth and Tony's just, like, sitting there? Do you ever go, like – is this our lives? Is this real? 100%. Every time. 
Every time I see Tony Hawk, to see this one on here. I feel that that's Tony Hawk. I feel the same way, bro. Like it, I, that, yeah. just like the little moment of like disbelief for real, Brando. Like, yeah, I it never so ceases to like amaze me of like the things that he's done to build that house that we're all at. You know what I'm saying? Like, him taking his, him literally capitalizing off everything is why a lot of things still remain, bro. So it's like this heavy level of appreciation for his existence and him just being in the room always goes. My life is beast so you know what i'm saying and now he's uh and now he's and now he's your co-worker tight tight <laughs> isn't he like a little bit of boss didn't he like help kind of what happened Alex oh yeah he he's uh <laughs> make no mistake i just uh come on <laughs> <laughs> we're not we're not we're not uh we're not sitting around the water cooler we're not we're not eating lunch at the same table uh, <laughs> tony tony takes you know, his chipotle yeah. upstairs <laughs> yeah you, hey you, some of us are assistant regional managers and some of us are the assistant to the regional some of us manager, are, you know are dwight <laughs> some, of us, some of us are dwight mm -hmm. oh wow oh my god Oh, this is a this is a sick part. I remember this. The dope part too is like uh, because it's such you know, street skiing, urban skiing is so so. I mean, it's crazy. You can say it's about skateboarding, snowboarding, surfing, yeah. but like it, this is the international flair to it. So you get a lot of domestic skiers who are you know hitting spots in Park City, Salt Lake City, Colorado, yeah. the East Coast, but then you get these like wild street videos from Norway or yeah. Sweden or Finland you know I don't know that first place you said but everywhere else is it's pretty sick look like, you know you, you know what you remember you know, Norway, no, I right? no I don't so I wanted to ask you <laughs> I saw I'll tell you one thing I was gonna ask you hold on whoa 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 hold up hold up let me ask I you no, I, I wanna, saw Gary. Oh, oh, no, you did. No, you did. Gary yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. Hold on. No, you did. I saw no, Gary you know. and a shot. Nope. In, I saw Gary in a shot in Norway. I saw him at one point, and then I didn't see him. That's because you went to bed, and then we went to the other room to bed. Like our, he went to his hotel, and I went to. That's, right. that's, that's it. Right. Listen, that's right. You guys are staying at a different hotel. That's exactly. Right. That's right. So he, um, I wanted to ask you the difference between the urban and then the street, because I heard that. What is urban skiing and what's street skiing? Is that the same thing or is it like a different? It's the same. <clears throat> yeah, it's a, it's the same. It's the same. Uh -huh. um, yeah, it's the same. Okay. Urban street. Steez Irwin said, oh, that's a beast name. Steez Irwin is hard. Says, is there any real snow this year? Ooh, uh, not this year, but I will say we are doing, um, I don't know, man. We're trying... Everybody, like, you know, Gary, you and I talked about it with Sinclair, right, for, for yeah. skate, and the real snowboard team feels the same with real snow and real ski, I'm sure, like, everybody wants to do it, we'll see, um, it's just, it's too good, I think it's, like, one of the best things no X Games does, right, it's just, like, it spotlights athletes and a part of what makes action sports so incredible. Well, LJ, and, um, I can't thank you enough. It's been a bummer that we haven't had the last couple of years, but I think the powers of B are trying, yeah. trying to trying to make it happen. Maybe 2025. Yeah, but we are doing some sick uh, things in the vein of this in Aspen this weekend. Okay. We're doing um, a rail jam contest, which will be really sick. Oh, nice, nice. And um, you know, if you watch uh, Winter X, then you know we also do for skiing and snowboarding knuckle huck. Which is like Bro, quickly become one of our that. favorite contests. Yeah, that's like uh, so beast. Zeb Powell, the Zeb, the Zeb Powell Invitational, as I like Basically, to call it. Basically, right? <laughs> and then, um, oh no, you've got you've got you've gotten to know Zeb pretty well. Yeah. Uh, you've snowboarded with him. Yeah, no, I got to know him. Um, we uh, went out to Culture Shifters. Salima invited us all, us all out, and then Zeb was like, "Yo, man, I watched Skateline," and I was like, "Yo." But my boy Matt, who produces the show with me, was like, bro, there's this dude, Zeb. He told me like two or three years ago. 
He's like, there's this Very dude, cool. Zeb, that snowboards. Wow. He picked up a snowboard, too, and he was like, yo, like, he's the one. So I start watching his stuff, and then I was already just watching it, like, wow, this dude is like Zion Wright, but on a snowboard. Like, mm. this dude is incredible. You feel me? So that, and then meeting him and him being like, yo, I rock with you. And then me rock with him and thinking like, he's got to be so good that he doesn't skateboard. That's what I had in my head. Like, he's got to be so good at snowboarding. He has no idea what I'm doing. You feel me? Like how I wasn't familiar with him coming up because I'm like so into my thing. Like, and then he was like, nah, bro, I skate. I can backflip a rail. I'm like, what? <laughs> and I, I need to line, I need to I need to I need to apologize Zeb. I was not familiar with your game yeah bro, um, oh god like at all and now we got to know it and we're close man we like, tap in all the time make sure he's good I, mean, I have to I gotta make sure Zeb was that a little bomb well, the that was so sick yeah that's sick huh the, the crazy yeah that yeah I'm gonna let this uh yeah hold on bro let this cut for a second <laughs> So that's, not, that's the push. The, the, so, so this is this is LJ's uh, video from 2019, I think. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he took a really unique line approach, as you can see. Like none of the other videos yeah. did this, and it's a little unorthodox. And I think the judges really liked it, but you know, it wasn't like was it, yeah, tricks, yeah, exactly. but it was just. But it was just, I, I applaud this approach because I think just like in anything, skateboarding, skiing, snowboarding, it's like when you're willing to like just do something outside of the box for the sake of like your own yeah. skiing, skateboarding, or snowboarding because you want to do it, um, then you can sleep at night. I, I think this is, this is sick. Nah, yeah, like, this has actually caught my eye. Like, I really like this. You know, it's given like um, Nyjah Ty Evans type feeling mm, yes you know yeah that's yeah. what it's giving me like that type of filming that hey stuff. uh speaking of uh nija that's crazy and as you said that's the first uh, time you would ever i saw he just did a deal with like uh everybody. pogs the filmer can't do we can't miss a which, shot which ever pogs? but as much as you guys get to try and I can um, miss the shot. Like the toy times. from like the nineties. <laughs> like one shot. In. You can't mess up. We're allowed to mess uh, up as many times as we want. Until you mean we Pez? The like the thing that opened the candy shot. thing? Or? <laughs> no. Yeah, you gotta watch that. Pez. So no, dog. Pog. Pogs, dude. Like the little round. They they look like coins almost. Uh huh. And, and you uh, put it in. You, you never flip you never it and pop up. Is that one? Yeah, with, with the slammer. You're. I, nah, I mean, bro. Say you swore to God. I, I I still go to his Instagram. He posted I don't a story have last it. Night. I don't have Instagram. Hold on, wait. I gotta go somewhere. I gotta know about this. Hold on. I let me, let I me, love Nigel, but that's me, that's gotta be an equity play. Like I just there's just hold no on, way. dog. Hold on, bro. What are you? Stop. What are you saying right now? What do you mean, bro? I do not. Please. What are you talking about? Dude. Where'd you see Niger. it? I'm on his thing. I got it on the. I have like an. We made like an X Games one. Hold on. Dude, Instagram is such a weird place now. Shout out Niger, bro. Hold on. I'm going to find this and I want to bring it on screen because what is happening, bro? We can't you learn it. We can't learn him. What you mean, Bimzy? <laughs> he don't know we can't learn him? Chad, help me out. Oh, no. Uh, the story's no longer available. Oh, it was a story. Yeah. He had like a post or something. It's like the circle. Yeah. Thing, right? he's, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. He said he was, he said he was, uh, Pog Twitter really has hyped. it. Dude. And I heard Pogs. I thought oh. of something completely oh. different by the way, guys. So I was just like, what are you talking about on the, on the show right now? Anyways. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to break. I didn't mean to break Niger news on the real ski, nah, bro, real ski watch party. But. That's still funny though. Like that's still hilarious. But I had a whole <laughs> different Pog in my head, bro. Pog Twitter has it. Oh yeah. You're not up on Pog Twitter. I'm not up on Pog Twitter. <laughs> Basically, four most of the time. Oh my of god, man. You're about, you're about to be. Videos, but it's, this is crazy. Oh Anyways. Freezing, your batteries are dying, your so, lens is getting coated with snow. And goal is just to make what are they going through here? They're talking about like how hard it is to like, get this 
we can get that yeah man I, like I, done our job. you know you heard it from the masters themselves skate uh really you think about, about filmers and so boys, and in the skate in the Will skate West industry there's just so many legendary names and yeah. uh um, the same the same can be said for skiing you saw that guy kyle decker there who actually has done some work with us for x games he's amazing yeah. um but I just think, man, you talk about the commitment of a ski filmer. Bro. Like, at least when you're out there in the cold, at least you're skiing, you know? It's like, like this is what I think about. where you got to get the shot, that's tough. This is what I think about, like, it, like to take it to, like, skateboarding, like, the East Coast filmers. When they say, like, yo, like, there's this level of skating that doesn't seem as crazy as, like, the West Coast dudes. Like, because Nyjah is trying that rail. Let's just go back to him. In 82 degree mm -hmm. blue skies. Mm -hmm. And he got, like, eight months to do that. East Coast, like, Jersey, New York, Virginia, Vermont. Those dudes are with they homie in 58 degrees. Bricks trying to get tricked. He cold, it hurts. So he's not going to just be able to continuously skate all day. To take it to ski, these filmers are in freeze chat. Freezing. Wait, watch this. Freezing weather. Yeah. Trying to get Yeah, I mean, and your, and your filmer, I mean, look at you just. You just squat down. Does it take as long? Just, like, Does it take as long the for these guys to get tricks? Just colorful. Oh yeah. That's just it. They yeah, just man. This, like, style. Okay. Same rules apply. I mean, so yeah. This is a participation trophy. Oh my this god! Is, like how? Because I look at some of these things. Like how many tries can you really one. take to do this? One that stands out. Like how many falls can you really have doing this? You know what I'm saying? Really sick videos in my mind. And think about it, man. Like ski ski injuries are no joke. Like yeah, bro. I mean, it's it's it's. It's kneecaps, it's ACLs, it's MCLs. It's building, um, it's bridge, it's river dam, it's... So we talk about it in the history of like uh, real street, right? Like, oh man, you know, he didn't get to finish his part, you know, because he got hurt early while filming. You hear that every once in a while, but in real ski, it feels like every single year they did the contest, at least one skier, like, just... Got smoked. Got torn up. Got smoked. Yeah. While filming for it or doing anything else. Like while filming for his real street thing got smoked. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Ask Tanner Hall about ski injuries. Yeah, Tanner Hall. OG go. What, who also who's, yeah, who's that? What's what's the deal with Tanner Hall? Like why we Tanner Tanner no, just Tanner's Tanner's had some of the gnarliest injuries. And but Tanner's one of the lone guys who's like had a Hall of Fame career before he ever even did real ski. Do you know any of his injuries? Can you tell chat? Knees, shoulders, oh, okay. everything, man. I was ankles. thinking like maybe he had like some significance, like, you know, that was like pointed out, like he had like- Lupe, my ankles. <laughs> <laughs> my ankles are, I know my ankles hurt watching skiing, bro. <laughs> like, first off those ski boots, I, you hear them walk around, these aren't soft. So it's like, you're landing, like, I wonder how their ankles feel, bro. That was insane, dog. Yeah, I would, I would think if I didn't, because I haven't skied since I was probably seven years old. Like, the, just the thought of putting on ski boots frightens me. <laughs> what do you mean? Why? Just because it's like, I just, you know, like when you're breaking in, I don't know, man. I just think of it as like the worst, especially when you just jump back in for the first time. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't own cowboy boots, but I imagine it's like putting on a pair of boots and just like, all right, go, uh, go, go do a half marathon. Hey, when do you get over to Aspen, Brando? Like when do you arrive? Are you already there? Tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow, I'd be packing my bag if I wasn't doing this show with you. I'm sorry. Will Wes and Will, thanks so much. That's okay. Of course. Thanks for having me. That's all right. Are you? Hey, man, I know you're ready. You, this is like what you do. This is who you are. I know you're ready for this weekend, right? I'm hyped, man. I think this is gonna be this is gonna be such a good one. We, we're losing athletes though, like uh, to injuries. Marcus Cleveland, uh, who was looking for three gold medals, just announced. Earlier this week, that uh, <laughs> or over the weekend, it's like, oh, they're actually he's not going to be able to compete. Oh no! Gawon Choi, one of the best young ladies in women's snowboard pipe, who was you know going to challenge Chloe Kim for gold. She just got injured. She can't compete. 
it's hey, it's getting tough. real, man. It's, the level, well, it's just tough, the level, man, Yeah, the level's growing, and then things are happening. It's just like, but but like, unlike say summer sports, like the winter event season is heavy, and like you've got almost three or four straight weekends of like huge contests, and then it culminates uh... with like X Games, you know, at the end of January. So we're like, we've oh, X Games has traditionally been like the last. I think due to her might be in March this year, but X Games was always traditionally kind of like the last big event. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, a lot of these athletes also have to worry about uh, oh. Olympic qualifying too. Yeah, how does that work? Like, because like, you know how like skateboarding, there's like that other contest where they go compete to get to the Olympics. Is X Games like the house for like qualifying for that or? Yeah, I, I, no, no, different? X Games is not. Yeah, just like summer with skate skate. I think yeah, we not, don't we don't qualify uh, and officially we do not uh, we do not observe that. We um, are our own. No, we're we, not are, we are that. We give out the gold medals. X is that. We started that. So shout out to and everybody. I, it's, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not trying to be I, like I, I hyperbolic, but but like I think the reality is 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 you know with the Olympics, there's so much red tape and there's so many different things and how you earn your spot and like who's truly competing whatever yeah. whatever uh, but you know x games whether it's skiing snowboarding skateboarding like you really truly at x games are competing against the best in the world and there is no cap on how many athletes can come from one country right i think brazil and japan have proven that it was a hype um yeah and then it was just like okay so that's why I think everyone wants to get up for X, no matter what. Where do the ideas come from? Wesson. Do you just Will Wesson. Will Wesson. This summer's Will Wesson. Hey, if you lived, uh, Gary, Gary, if you lived in um, like Breckenridge or Park City, like what would, uh, like what would you drive? Like what would, what would your whip be? If you lived in like a ski town. A Durango, a new like Hellcat Durango. That's what I wanted to have, just so, possible, but didn't really I don't know, man. So when it's not snowing, I can go 93 it. miles an hour. You want that, wait, you want that car now. <laughs> yeah, I still want you it right now. Really. I want it right now. Not even it's, but that would be my car. Or, I don't, or, um, it's like that Toyota. There's like a really good Toyota that's like super powerful too. I think Jagger got one. It's like a Raptor or a TRX or something. So it's a, I just want something because, bro, oh, yeah. when I drove home from Denver after that culture shifters with Zeb, like, I almost died, bro. Oh, I forgot. I forgot you did. I forgot yeah, bro, you guys drove. I drove right oh, when the snow, when the, when the storm started, brother. So I was, I know I need something good, bro, and I had a Durango, so. Because I thought four-wheel drive meant that it could handle snow, and somebody, the dude at the at Enterprise was like, what are you talking about? Nothing can handle ice. It's ice. He's like, so it's over with, bro. <laughs> yeah, anybody in chat from Colorado or Aspen or going to X this weekend? Anybody in chat coming to X this weekend? Has anyone ever been to Aspen? Yeah, has anybody ever been over there, bro? You liked it, right? When you went? Love Aspen. Love it. It almost took my life, but I love Aspen, bro. That would have been a really nice way to go out. Aspen is fire, bro. That would have been so nice. But no, nah, I mean, it's all good. Shout out there. The Ski line's too long. Shout out. Oh. Shout out, Mom. Mom, Mom clacks. Uh, where'd you stay when you, you were in Aspen, Gary? Don't remember. No, I don't remember stuff like that. I live too fast. <laughs> I used to go at Aspen for a year growing up in Colorado. Midi Moon. Midi Moon. Storms. Midi Moon. Midi Moon. Powerful. Shout out Mini Moon. Stomps everything. I like that name. Where's your um? What's your like a resort that you like in Aspen? What's a favorite place of yours? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm staying there. Uh, I'm checking in tomorrow, and they always take care of us. The official hotel of uh of X Games. I don't know if that's true, uh, but it's where I'm staying. Uh, I don't even know if I should say this. Um, don't say no, no, no. You don't give up where you at, bro. No, 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 no. We're not leaking nothing. No, I'm just saying. Like I was saying, like a scenario of like. 
favorite place, a nice resort. I ain't I'm staying wow. downtown. <laughs> uh, uh, no, downtown Aspen, there's nothing like it. Like, I don't. Like, I think downtown Aspen's incredible 365, but then I think during X Games week, it just ratchets up even more it's just you just stumble into a good time you said, and, you said um, ratchets like or ratchet 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 like, ratchet. like, yeah, ratchet. Ratchet. like oh turn to oh, okay 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 i thought you meant like sexy red and then be out there <laughs> she, she might she might i have not looked at them i haven't looked at the lineup what did cat williams say about sexy red bro i don't remember i don't remember that that interview i don't want to say it because i'd be i'd be just dis it'd be disrespectful to sexy red but i think he said uh he said crazy you're in a certain income you're in a certain tax bracket if you listen to uh, yeah, if you or listen not to if you listen to sexy red this video is the most well-rounded oh my gosh hey i forgot like cat is it like cat williams is i've always his special from like what was it like 2006 is still like one of my all-time bro favorites. yes bro i know exactly but what then you talking. forget about him because he because he doesn't do a lot no but then he does something or he does like a long form Anything, interview bro. like that and you're like oh my god he's like he's one of them ones bro. he's one of one like did you see his episode did you see his episode of um atlanta when he was on atlanta no <laughs> I never, oh God, bro. Dude, I never got in Atlanta, bro. How was that? Like, how, I never got in Atlanta. I, I got recommended to watch so a couple good, episodes, man. like from some good people, but I never got. Whoa! Oh my goodness! He like did like a pop down to on the rail and over. But yeah, bro. Like, I never got into Atlanta. Chad, has anybody ever watched Atlanta? Atlanta? The, 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 it's a Gambino show, right? Donald Glover show, right? Yep. Yep. Uh, no, it's an amazing show, but Cat Williams plays, uh, just like does a camera. He's not even himself. He's playing, he's called, I think he's called like Florida Man or something like that. It's a crazy episode about going to Florida. Uh, Eternal Soldier said Cat was funny as hell. Dude, there is a, I don't remember. It was like a, it, it always goes viral every once in a while of him just absolutely clowning this woman on a radio, like a morning radio roast. My God, bro, that comes you know in my YouTube. That about? annually comes in my YouTube recommended yeah. every two months. Roast is yeah. Wanda. Cat Williams roast Wanda. History of real. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been, yeah, yeah. I've been to jail 19 times. No convictions. No convictions. Jail is not prison. Jail, jail is not prison. Jail is not prison. And your shirt is not matching with them shoes. I'm so sorry. What does he say? He's, he yeah. says he says something about you can uh, uh, at your uh, local like uh, gas station. You could get her earrings with the purchase of oh Virginia God, Slims and like bro. a tank of gas or something like that. Bro, why is he like that, bro? She yeah. she was just she thought she was funny, and it's just like you are you're right. Other humans forget about Cat Williams. That's what yeah, happens to yeah. Cat Williams. Like they forget about his greatness and like his level of funny. <laughs> Me, I do not. I met him when I was um fourteen. Did you? Fourteen or fifteen? Yeah. Cat Williams. Yeah, he came to my cousin's concert. So my cousins. Remember, I told you my cousin made the Van song. Yeah. So he yeah. he invited us out, and Cat came to watch it because he had he was like living in Oakland at that time. So um, he he came with uh, Too Short. And um, he dot me up, bro, and he gave me like this really gnarled finger. Sorry, <laughs> he talks about her gnarled fingers in that interview. Wait, what happened? Oh, that's so good. Remember, he talks about Wanda's not her oh gnarled my fingers, God, bro. Yes, bro. <laughs> that uh, demon. But yeah, no, uh, he, sorry. So, no, so you met at the at your cousin's concert? Yeah, he gave me this like dap up, and I was like talking to him about like random stuff. I was like a younger kid, bro, and he just listened. And he just like gave me like a awe, but he like genuinely cared. I was like, damn, like, uh, I always took that impression, like, bro, like, you know, like, I'd be, you know, me, I'll call people off. If you was fake or if you was rude, I don't care if you hot, viral, nothing, bro. If you not cool to me, I don't care who you are. I'm stepping on you. Like, if you act like an ass, you feel me? If you act an ass, I'm going to show you ass, bro. Facts. <laughs> and this ass got a BBL. Like, don't play with me. So, but he was like, bro, he's cool as hell, bro. Like, that's, I was like the best experience. I think we can all agree. It's pretty wild, man, when I think, like, you've, you've obviously... I think it's crazy because sometimes I think, oh, man, what you do has allowed you the opportunity to, like all of us, travel the world and get to meet amazing people. 
But then I hear a story like that or like when Chappelle came by your shop, you know, it's like it's pretty insane how things just sort of happen <laughs> for you yeah. with certain people yeah. that, that you look up to, you know, that's that's amazing. It's such a crazy like welcome back to the it's such a crazy life. Like crowded room seeing Dave Chappelle. Life, is, Rolo, life is so crazy. Yeah, and and didn't you tell him like, hey, I got a shop around the corner or whatever? He, yeah, I was and like, then, I have a shop up the street, and, he, and then he, he went, showed up. He went right. Yeah. Oh my god. No one wants it to happen. A lot of times, it stops people from finishing their. Oh my god. Yes, trial and error. Oh, it's the bail oh, section. Oh, this is the crash reel. Oh yeah. How are yeah, this is. Sometimes you find out the hard way. By the way, we set like we set this emotion on Real Street, and then I think all the other shows were like, oh, I guess we got to do. Top ten crash. Oh, this started here. <laughs> oh yeah, because we did it. Oh wow. Yeah, we gotta see this. You guys ready? Chat, that's are you ready? I didn't... L's in the you chat. Uh, L's in the chat. Arms, fingers, everything. I didn't remember. I didn't realize this, Gary, because it's like in skateboarding, this is just a part of it. Like in in video parts, right? I didn't realize that it's like I don't want to say celebrated, but it's just an integral part of like ski video parts is the bail showing all of this. Yeah. Okay. Oh, L's in the chat. Oh. Nope. L's. Oh. Oh. Nope. Nah, he came out of skis. Is that the same thing as coming out your, like when Dave Chappelle flew off the toilet, off his shoes? <laughs> That's a part bro, how hard do you have to hit ice to bleed, bro? If you have to hit snow so hard to start bleeding. Wait, that that's the first time. That's the first time I'm seeing the Hirachis that I was wearing on that shoe. Damn, you know, just, I, I peeped those about 30 seconds ago. I was about to ask you about those. But <laughs> yeah. you, you know how I feel about the shoe, You know what I'm saying? So I would just, I would just let that. I'm gonna let that live. Oh, God. Oh, that's a good thing about snow. You, you could ice it immediately. You got ice. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, everybody around becomes an EMT. Yeah, facts. Immediately, everybody has experience. To the bail list here today. It's an aluminum rail. This was in Minneapolis. Yeah. It's gonna land way down the road. Yeah. Shut up, Minneapolis. Oh shit. Very painful. Ooh. All right, next on our list, he was a late entry in the 2020. Oh, at the University of Minnesota. I don't think I knew that. Let's check it out. Oh, the impact is so intense. Oh, I tightened up. Oh, he got knocked. Like, he got knocked out. On the rail and then whack. You yeah. can see his body kind of go just like the yes. slightest bit limp that you Yeah, that's LJ it. right there in the Something that's talking right there in the short sleeves. Jeez. That was him. Yo, man. Sometimes the falls might not even look bad. That one definitely does, but knowing what comes out of it like hitting your head, man. Like, Crazy thing about that guy is uh he's He's still, I think, you know, like ski right, seasonally, yeah. but now he's like a, he's like a data, data scientist. I don't, don't ask me what that means. Like those cyber dudes? Like those cybers? Yeah, he's like a, he's like a, he's like a smart guy. What? Oh, Alex. Oh. around this thing. The skis are Oh, Zach is a weird dog. Right, the ledge. We talked about this and how he won the best trick for this trick. It's because. And I forgot all this stuff when I hosted this show. <laughs> oh my gosh. How many crashes do you Oh my gosh, Alex. Yo, bro. I'm going to move on. Alex. Talking about validation, though, it also shows the dedication. Like, this is a guy that you also know is going to be competing in slope style. And boys. At those rock star boys, they're just, like they're, a little, they're a little different, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, they all go there. They definitely go there, bro. All of them. That's the most I've ever seen. It's the go there mafia, man. Moving on. He turned sober in 2020, but he also uh -oh. gets on our list. Emile Bergeron. Oh, no. Oh, I mean, right it's a the gut. That. Breaking they make you, river. hey, they make you do this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing that you I watched know. the bales before this, how does it feel? Like I remember when they sent us that. I'm like, bro, see yeah, the bales before. But no, remember, Gary? They don't even. They didn't just send them. They'd be like, uh, rank them. Yeah, who has the worst one? Yeah, when they're like, yo, who <laughs> yeah, failed yeah. the worst? And we gotta do one through ten. And we like. Ah, damn, like between one and two, you sit there and be like, how would you feel if you get on national television and you got your bail rated? But I get, we got to pick a number one. And sometimes we have like obvious number ones and stuff like, but it was like Tories. Remember when Tory hurt his knee? Like you can't really judge that because you couldn't really see it. But yeah, I don't like watching slams. These are too brutal. Well, you, you watching the stream and it's okay. You don't ski D. It's all right. 
Oh my goodness. Yep. The, like, no Those are Jay, bro. I, like, hey. What were you thinking? I was actually trying to talk the whole time, just trying to say. And they're at the mercy of physics. Yeah. I just can't speak. Yeah. But Fair there up. is no air in my lungs. Why not, like, a so you ever had a fall that hard, Brando? The ones where you knock your air out and have to start talking in tongues? Oh. I mean, you made a snowboarding. Yeah. Yeah. Like getting the wind knocked out of yeah, you. Bro. I, to me, sometimes I think getting the wind knocked out of you, no matter what you're doing, like. Like a in that moment is, a lot of is like the worst feeling in the world. Like not yeah, being able to that's, like that's find your breath is, like, is it's, it's scary. Such a weird know, thing because you do it every day to stay alive. You're talking about and you hit your laugh, you hit your no, chest or your stomach, and all of a sudden you don't know what you're doing moment. anymore. This is the weirdest. I got the window knock out of me literally. Oh man, I had a neck injury in uh like uh what do you what do you call it um what's when you play little football? What's that called? Pop, 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 pop Warner, Warner, Pop Warner. Yeah, I had a crazy yeah, neck injury. I laid on the field when I stood up. Everybody clapped for me and stuff. I had a, I had a helmet to helmet, but it like I, I had a helmet to helmet and my foot like twitched in like a way that I was like, uh oh. And then like for like I'm telling you like a split, super split second. Cause you know it sucks like when you get hit that hard like in the neck. It's like I found out like you know a lot of people that like kind of do extra. I'm thinking like oh yeah I'm paralyzed like it's over with. You know what I'm saying like. There it is. But like literally you you're just hurt and then it comes back to you like sometimes. You know what I'm saying? And then you got up then you got up uh like Rod Tidwell <laughs> and uh and to have video <laughs> and he started dancing around the end zone. What is that Eddie Gibbs? Uh, 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 That's no. uh, Jer Jerry Maguire. Jerry Maguire. That's good. Yeah, Eddie Cooper Eddie Jr. Like, this is so cool. <laughs> Show me the money! Keep it crazy. <laughs> Yo, so, you know, Brando, basically, um, you know what I'm saying? I want to say a huge thank you for joining me tonight on this episode of Grind on the Wine, man. I know, dude. I, yeah. I can't wait to have you back. Um, this weekend is going to be absolutely epic for X Games and Winter as itself. And I'm just like kind of getting introduced to this world every day, getting my knowledge up. But I'm going to wrap this stream soon. But first, before I go, I got to do a million bars, man. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to get a beat. Chat. Hey, Brian and Why, episode 15. Yo, put them beats, man. Put them, put them words in the chat, man. Put them words in the chat, man. So I can get the freestyle going. Yeah. Wrap another episode up. Shout out my boy, Brandon Graham, that came up in here, man. I don't know what happened, but we good. Hey, I don't give a damn. I was just watching Real Ski. And all them dudes, they took a slam. Uh, uh, yeah, I almost cried. Some of them, I can't believe some of them dudes is still alive. <laughs> they go too high. Shout out, Ski. <laughs> oh my God, D, you keep playing with me and Wheezy Wee. Shout out, Wheezy F. And the F, not phenomenal, because it's PH. He didn't spell it right, but we can't hate. Cause when he spit, he an all time great. A ball, just like LeVar. Um, or even LaMelo. Or even LaJello. And what's his name? LiAngelo. He's the thief, right? China. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gotta get back to the flow. Gotta get back to it though. Hey, hey. Set my flow to basic Xavier, but I be at Chase the Bank though. Shout out to Selma Kayak. That's not Hayek. Still the same thing. Don't say that, D, because he is okay. He ain't RIP. I think he is still listening to me, but he not in the chat. When he coming back? <laughs> I can't take that. That's not cool, man. It don't feel like real rap. I'm jamming right now, and everybody know that. Every time I get up on a beat, it slap. I ain't going to crash because I got to do the dash. When I'm in that whip, if it's rain or dry, you going to see my 110 flying by. POV when you smoke too much, but every time I'm on the beat, I go uh. Damn, I almost messed up, but it's okay because I'm going to get the flow, bruh. Ah, like them high freestyles. I know what you talk about. We go out. Hey, I'm on this thing right now. Hey, oh, get snow, real snow, real skate, real everything. Too late. I don't really deal with y'all hate. I stand on what I say. All y'all get to laughing. I'm at my house right now. I didn't even get to go to Aspen. 
I don't know what to say about scoring goals. I ain't never played soccer, bro. 2025, I'ma be the guy. Best believe a CEO. Get real rich. Do my thing. Do my ish. With my boy ish and my boys that be with the lish. Ski ball, ski bells. I don't know what you said. He said L. No Aspen. I know I'm just kicking at the house. Really want to be in Aspen right now on the top of a mountain or at a resort. But honestly, snowing is not my sport. Hey, what the hell? You said I'm all right? Nah, I'm, I smoked. I'm just playing. Hey, hey, got a red bed. Got some dreads. Hey, you might be the fed. Hey, if you hate and go to hell, I met Dave Chappelle. He told me what I'm doing is cool and real well. Hey, hey, <laughs> drug free. I'm sober 11 years in November, and that's on me. That's the end of the beat. Hey. <laughs> Every week, man, Pimp Nate slip back. <laughs> oh, man. Sometimes, sometimes it's easy. Sometimes it's hard. But I'm still going to do it. I'm not going to drop the flow. It's a million parts, baby. Put words in the chat, so I'm going to try to rap. It's all good. Shout out Warlord Easy. Doing your thing. And Daniel the Beast, 99, came in the chat. Was like, yo, what are you doing right now? Me having no fun, never being embarrassed because this is grinding on wine and your boy is out of there. Yeah, I'm gone, right?